jo Johnny, hi, I'm Greg Srizavosti with Hollywood Outbreak and Deepest Street. Pleasure to meet you. Good okay. to meet you, Greg. How are you? Pleasure, pleasure, man. Um, my first question to you, Johnny, is just one of the one of the great things about this document docu series is the fact that love is is a big part of the entire picture. And how how much how great does it feel for you to know that just generations of people will continue to discover, rediscover love? Uh, this is like living a dream. It's so fascinating. We have been rediscovered by a whole different generation. We played in the UK and over 97,000 people showed up in Sefton Park to hear us play. And it was just really, really wonderful to see all of that and to have remained relevant after all of these years. It's just you know, amazing. You know, that said, I recently listened to Forever Changes and it's considered just one of the great rock albums of all time. And wondering about not just, just that, just that album. And, and are you, um, how, how much does it feel to, to know that that album is considered a classic and a masterpiece along with the rest of the output from love? Well, that's definitely that people appreciate because it was very difficult to complete that album and for people to appreciate the work that, was required in order to make it possible is you know finally um it's received well over the years it's received quite a bit of recognition but now it seems to have uh kind of morphed into something entirely different and it's become uh something unto itself it's become um, uh how would i put that the record itself stands above um most of the other things that we had done so um I'm just grateful that it's still relevant. It has never been out of print and people are still buying it. They just released a box set just a couple of months ago and different um, versions of it. And, and it's on vinyl as well as uh, high definition digital. So yeah, we're really, really thrilled with all of the, the, uh, the It's hard to explain how that is, but that's just, it, it's received so much recognition and, and we're in uh, the uh, Museum of African American Culture at the Smithsonian. And wow. so it's just amazing you know, how it all just, all of a sudden, there, there it is. You know, Johnny, I was looking at some of your interviews on YouTube and you, you, you talked about the that interesting Grace Slick story, but just on, on a bigger picture, just wondering about when you look back at the time and all the friends you made and your, your door was open to so many people, what do you, in, in the big picture sense, what do you think about that time when you look back during those Laurel Canyon days with all those friends? It just seemed like the universe just kind of blessed us and, and opened up and decided to, um, for this one place in time and one moment in time, everybody came together and it was this feeling of camaraderie, a feeling of love, there was competitiveness, but there was just a feeling of warmth and friendliness and people just cared about each other. And, and uh, it, it was a different time. There was not this polarization, at least in this one place in time. Now, of course, all of that was happening during the civil rights movement and during the, um, uh, the Vietnam War. So we had this one safe, place it's a safe haven and where we could be ourselves and we could make music and chat and be friends and not have to worry about what was happening in the outside world johnny my last question to you is what keeps you passionate as an artist today and how much um how much gratification do you feel that you, you you're keeping the uh, the music of love alive to this day i mean that must be mean a lot to you Absolutely, it does, and we're still traveling and playing all over the world, and having, I'm just having the time of my life. This is just a blast you know, for me because I never ever expected any of this, and just a few years ago, it just started up again, and it's snowballing, and it's just fantastic. Johnny, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate you asking. Thank, Thank you, Greg. You. Thank you.